Hello world, welcome back to CodingScientist.com. This is a brand new series called Cloud IoT on Nano RP2040. This is absolutely a newly launched microcontroller board in the world. And guys, this is a very powerful board. In fact, if you go through the Arduino uh, uh, data sheet, it's, it's got ton loads of features and functionality, everything inbuilt within a small form factor. So this is what we are going to, you know, in this particular zero to hero series, you will be learning a lot about IoT applications and stuff like that. So as I said, this is just an introduction uh, lesson. So I'm going to talk about what you're going to learn and stuff like that. So guys, Arduino, you know, 2040, RP 2040, it's been adopted by Raspberry Pi as well. So you guys should be aware of this. Those, those of you who are from Raspberry and Jetson and Arduino background who have done quite a lot of projects, RP2040 like, you know, Pi, uh, Pi Pico is been a common phenomenon today. It, it was launched a couple of months back and followed by this particular board called Nano RP2040 Connect. Okay, so it fits the Arduino nano form factor, making it a very small board with a big, big feature, very big features. The brain of the board is the Raspberry Pi RP2040 silicon chip. So it's a dual core, you know, uh, a chip, which is basically running on 133 megahertz speed. It has 264 kilobytes of S RAM, which is actually, which makes things very, very powerful. It's almost similar to Arduino 33 BLE since you would have seen my uh, parallel series which is going on which is the uh, tiny machine learning on BLE sense. It's almost similar but it's more powerful and compatible with Python and C++. So it makes kind of a magic right. You can do ton loads of IoT projects and machine learning and artificial intelligence projects using this single powerful chip. So. What is, what is special about this when, when Arduino 33 BLE Sense has got similar feature? Well, this can be connected to the cloud directly. That means it's got an inbuilt Wi-Fi as well, right? So that gives additional boost and the power. The hugely popular and highly adaptable U-Blox Nina W102 radio module comes inside this. It's, it's inbuilt within this particular module. So which actually gives a lot of boost to the IoT champions, right? You, you can build ton loads of IoT projects and stuff. This also means you can harness the power of cloud with a fully connected Arduino cloud compatibility, right? It's just not about Arduino cloud. You can also connect this to the Google cloud and Microsoft Azure cloud. And there are ton loads of things which I'm going to show you guys. So it's got a onboard built-in sensors to turn your builds into a powerhouse projects right and the microphone and the motion sensing add a depth of possibilities that's almost impossible to find in any of the board microcontroller boards in this world especially of this particular size small size right so the arduino nano 2040 connect is is basically nothing but it's a premium choice for rp2040 chip right that's that's the main brain behind this and it's a perfect options for upgrading any of your projects and unlocking the potential of new ones with a Wi-Fi and the cloud powered with ton loads of inbuilt sensors, right? So let's take a look at it, what you are going to learn in this particular zero to hero series, right? So let's, let's, let's look at uh, the architecture point of view. It's basically a multi-radio wireless microcontroller module with antenna pin. It, it's, it's a multi-radio wireless, right? It, it's all inbuilt. The u blocks Nina W102 radio module makes this the only connected RP2040 options in today's world. Guys, you know, take my words, you can do some research. It gives you a full powered Wi-Fi 802.11 BGN connectivity. So that, you know, that adds up the muzzle along with the Bluetooth. You know, it's got an inbuilt Bluetooth and a BLE version 4.2. Let's talk about the sensor overload, right? If you look at the architecture just behind me, it's also packed into this tiny board are a couple of very useful, useful sensors, guys. You know, a built-in mic microphone is included in this. There's a small, tiny little microphone chip as well. 
uh, and for sound activation and stuff and audio control and even artificial intelligence voice recognition we can do voice recognition projects using this particular board and it's got a six axis smart imu inertia measurement unit six axis not three axis but a six axis imu which is inbuilt with artificial intelligence capabilities that tells the board which way it is moving you know you can build ton loads of drone projects robotics projects and stuff like that autonomous bots that is possible and adds a fall sensing and double taps the activation that's kind of guys it's brilliant right and of course the memory point of view it's got a lot ton loads of memory with 16 mb of flash memory that's that's external to the microprocessor you know not within the chip but outside the chip as separate memory power and there's a bags of room for your code and storage needs just imagine guys with a tiny chip you've got a ram sram and the storage as well inside so it's kind of fabulous right and the programmable input output pins have functions that bigger boards only dream of 22 digital and 20 with pwm and 8 analog wow that sounds like the power of multiple gpio pins you know most important thing python power right so this board has got full support of micro python the nano rp2040 connect those of you who watched my other series on raspberry pi pico right it's a small little chip again that's that's again a rp2040 chip and i was showing you how to connect to micro python through different kind of ides so that works brilliant it's the same chip being used here with additional ton loads of inbuilt sensors you don't have to buy any sensors at all right typically and which comes with the most important thing is this particular chips also the rp2040 inbuilt into nano uh, uh, this particular board with a free open mv license for machine vision guys that it's a very powerful tool open mv license which is inbuilt within this for machine vision kind of applications the open mv camera is like a super powerful arduino with you know with a camera on board that you can program using python programming we make it easy to run machine vision algorithms using in this board and you know what else you can do you can you can do color detection face detection and facial recognition using within this gpio pins right connecting the cameras it's kind of wow unbelievable i have built ton loads of projects using this board and i'm going to show you walk you through from zero to hero and the most important aspect is Arduino cloud ready. So the program and the operate which comes along with RP2040 connect directly from your browser. You can, you can just open the browser and remotely you can access the entire features within this. And it's fully compatible from the day one. It's just a matter of few libraries we got to, in, we got to load it which I'm going to show you at a later stage right and then upload your sketches upload your code remotely on the air you don't have to physically connect to your arduino ide using using the uh, using the micro usb port but you can do it on the air as well that means remotely through the browser wow that's kind of powerful iot application guys just imagine you ton loads of smartphone applications i'm going to show you how to connect and you know play around with the data which you are going to collect through the sensors and then let's take a look at it what exactly you are going to learn in this particular series zero to hero series of course we are going to cover the basics you will learn the getting started basics with arduino uh, nano 2040 chip how you are going to get started step by step basics from the scratch that's why i call it as zero to hero setting up the nano 2040 connect with arduino ide and on the cloud all those things you are going to learn right and then we will slowly move on to you know the cloud aspects so from the cloud computing aspects you will learn the cloud computing in iot the internet of things which is the powerful word in today's world including artificial intelligence we will be adding intelligence into the iot applications so you will learn about the cloud computing mobile apps as well as on the browser not just mobile app but on the browser you can you can analyze the data which you collect and take some you know decision making aspects of the entire data using just a small little board guys it's powerful and the most obvious use case is an iot appliance 
and this is made quite straightforward using the Arduino IoT cloud. So Arduino has come out with the IoT cloud of their own which is going to be connected with this. That's going to be brilliant. And I will also show you how to connect it to Microsoft Azure and the IBM stacks and also the Google Cloud. There are ton loads of cloud applications we can we can just play around. For example, we can create a weather station using Arduino Nano, uh, you know, RP2040, this particular module and connect and have live data streamed to the cloud, which can be accessed from any web connector devices. Oops, pretty powerful, isn't it? And then we will also move on and learn about the sensors, right? Different types of sensors available within this particular board. So you will build a real time monitoring on the cloud. You can also connect sensors, you know, provide real time monitoring and drive actuators or DC motors or servo motors. And the sensors can collect real time data, weather conditions, soil quality, you know, crop growth and any other data you need. Once it is sent back to the IoT cloud, connected to this particular board, the data value chain becomes a valuable analytics that supports business process at a various levels, right? You can imagine the power, for example, the crop yield in agriculture, equipment efficiency, efficiency of your tractor or, or the moving machines and kind of thing, the the, uh, the farmer's performance, and, and there are ton loads of uh, use cases we can continue to build. And of course, last but not the least, the cloud robotics. Guys, it's going to be really interesting, you know, we, you will learn about Arduino IoT cloud user, uh, how they can interface to remotely control this particular board, right, and connect to build a web control robot. Well, you might ask a question, well, this is the same thing you saw in ESP32, I built a robot ESP32 cam with small rover bot, right? Well, the advantage of this is it's got IMU, six axis IMU sensor and the microphone and there are ton loads of other sensors guys can be plugged in. It just moves like a beast. You know, I just want to keep it as a surprise. I'm going to show you one at a time as we get along. So guys, you know, th this is just an introduction part of cloud IoT on Arduino Nano RP2040. So I'm going to launch this particular series of zero to hero. Stay tuned. I will come back to you with the next lesson pretty quick. Goodbye.